I just want to make a quick video and show you this clock. I bought this clock back when I was installing Hughes Internet. Uh, I bought it off one of my customers. Him and his wife had it. He has a barometer on one side and a thermometer on another side. It's an Ansonio uh, clock. A friend of mine looked it up. Uh, out of uh, his book. And it's the Kensico uh, K assortment clock made in 1901. Uh, these are the pictures that the uh, original owner that I bought it off of had. This one and this one. And I told him I'd buy the clock if he gave me the pictures to go with it. So he did. But I just want to show you. That just like uh, when I talk about the foot needs a little bit of separation in cuckoo clocks. This clock was not running properly. This is the foot on the birch and crutch assembly. It has a little bit of separation in it now. And what you can see is as it ticks, it has a little bit of inertia when the uh, pendulum leader comes off of it. It allows it to uh, uh, get that inertia to go from one side to the other side to uh, allow it to tick um, a lot of people don't agree with this some people say that those foots need to be closed uh, from my experience once you open them up to give it a little bit of inertia uh, your clock stays running and this clock uh, has been running for about 30 minutes now it has the alarm on it Right, put this back on. Wind it up some. This alarm is more like a timer. When I see timer, there's little numbers on the uh, on that alarm, and let's say the clock is at 12 o'clock. I don't know what time it is, but you would set this to go off in like six hours or five hours, and once it reaches the notch. It'll go off if it's wound up. There's a notch on it right here. This arm um, rides on this uh, inner wheel, this uh, snail like wheel. And once it hits that notch, the alarm goes off or timer. But, anyway, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. God bless. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Not bad for something that was made in 1901. God bless.